Welcome to this video. In today's video, we are going to be learning some future made up presidential history in the presidencies. As we know, Joe Biden defeated incumbent Republican President Donald Trump in the year 2020 presidential election. Biden won in a landslide victory. But as we all know now, in the 2024 election, Republican governor of Virginia ran for president and defeated incumbent Democrat President Joe Biden and picked Republican Florida governor Ron DeSantis as his running mate. Together they won the 2024 election, but just four years later, he was defeated by a Democrat. As we know now, this Democrat right here is one of the most famous people, if not the most famous person in the whole world, Democrat President Gretchen Whitmer. She earned this title from being America's first United States President of the United States. She had pretty high approval rating and picked Democrat Governor from Georgia, Stacey Abrams, which this is the first time ever a woman was elected president. Four years later though, in 2032, she did not seek a second term because of her health at the current time. Many thought that Vice President Stacey Abrams would run in the 2032 election. But as we know now, that did not happen. Democrat Senator from Massachusetts, Joe Kennedy III, related to JFK, which was one of our greatest presidents. Anyways, JFK was assassinated back in 1963. Remember this for later. Anyways, Joe Kennedy III ran as a Democrat in the 2032 election. His Republican challenger was former Vice President Ron DeSantis. Joe Kennedy III won, holding the states of Texas, Georgia, and Michigan, and picking up many competitive states. Anyways, on the tragic day of November 1st, 2035, Joe Kennedy III was brutally shot and murdered by the far-right conspiracy theorist and followers of QAnon. People were really freaking out about this. Is it a coincidence that his relative from the past, John F. Kennedy, got shot? Is it also a coincidence that his other relative, Robert Kennedy, John F. Kennedy's brother, got shot? Or is it some kind of curse? We will never know to this day. Then. Vice President Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez took the oath of office and was sworn in as president. She is now the current president and is the second female president in American history. And Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez picked Democrat Nina Turner to be her vice president. And Nina Turner was also sworn in. If you like more videos like this, make sure to like and follow. Goodbye.